All right, man. Yo, shout out to my boy, BT, at True School Sports, man. I just had to stop in there and say what's up to him and Pops. So salute to them. Uh, but, man, I'm going to tell you something real quick, bro. I have been telling you dudes, you know, I don't mean to keep gloating on it and to keep, you know, kicking people when they down or whatever. But I've been telling you dudes legitimately for years, years, that Mikey Garcia was a bum. He's not a bum, but he was criminally and vastly overrated. Like I say, aside of Adrian Broner and Chavez Jr., he's probably the biggest clown over the past decade of boxing, bro. I, I can go through the whole Rolodex of who we could have, would have, should have fought. Bro, he called out Pacquiao for seven years and never fought him, Okay. Then when Pacquiao got to be 40, 41, then he started to think about maybe fighting him, right? Lomachenko, same thing. After Lomachenko beat uh, Linares and beat Jose Pedraza and was unified lightweight champion, Mikey fought Robert Easter and unified the lightweight belts. So they could have clashed and had an undisputed lightweight fight right then and there. But Mikey Garcia decided that because he didn't want to lose to somebody in his own weight class, so he went up, sold his ass for some pay-per-view money, and had a built-in excuse of, oh, well, I lost to a bigger guy. Okay? So that's Pat. He ducked Pacquiao and Lomachenko. Mikey also got a seven-figure offer from Golden Boy to fight Jorge Linares, a prime reigning champion, defended his title multiple times, Jorge Linares. He turned it down. Top rank. Remember when he bitched out of his contract with top rank and Bob back in, what was it, 2012, 2013? It was right when I was living in downtown Milwaukee. Um, uh, he, he, he had opportunity. He could have, Bob was going to set him up for a big fight with Terrence Crawford once Terrence Crawford became undisputed at, at 140. He didn't want to do that. He didn't want to fight a prime Gamboa. He cried out of his top rank contract. So Crawford and Gamboa ended up fighting each other. Bob was trying to set him up for one of those fights, either with Gamboa or Crawford. Mikey was scared, didn't want to do it, cried, sat out of boxing for three years. So who do we got so far here? Loma, Pacquiao, Crawford, Gamboa, Linares. That's five dudes I've named, named in under three minutes that Mikey Garcia fucking ducked. And more recently... He called out Tiafimo Lopez, didn't fight him. Called out uh, Josh Taylor, didn't fight him. Literally had an offer to fight Regis Progress and turned it down and decided to fight this, this, this moron that he fought. I'm not going to call him a moron. He seems like a nice guy. But this cherry pick that he decided to fight tonight and went horribly, horribly fucking wrong, people. Okay. Mikey Garcia is a dis... I I've been telling you guys this for three three years, if not longer, bro. Since I started my, my first channel, okay? He's a disgrace, people. He I don't want to hear any of that Mexican warrior shit, bro. He bro, he, he ain't... The like I say, the Mexican warriors in boxing are gone. There's no Barrera, Morales, Marquez's, Johnny Tapia's, Finito Lopez around these days. Those days are over. Now you got Mikey Queen Ryan and fucking cracked out Benavidez over there, bro. So stop it with that eh, Mexican warrior, Mexican blood type. No, man. Uh-uh. All you dudes are American, first of all. And, 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 and you... If, anyhow, but I've been telling y'all for a long, long time that this dude was criminally overrated. I, I, I can name... So many channels. I'm not going to call anybody out. They know who they are. Back. Back two, three years ago. That was claiming up and down the block. That Mikey would have knocked out Lomachenko. Lomachenko would have fucking put hands. All over Mikey Garcia. And knocked him out. Pacquiao would have put hands. All over Mikey Garcia. And knocked him out. A prime Jorge Linares would have put hands all over Mikey Garcia and knocked him out. Crawford, pff, forget about it. 
Uh, imagine, imagine what Regis Progress would have done to him tonight. Think about that, people. Think about that for a second. Imagine what Regis Pro Progray would have done to Mikey Garcia had he been in that ring with them tonight. He would have torn him from limb. And I, I like Regis Progray. He's like a Louisiana juvenile magnolia little ghetto motherfucker. I like Regis Progray. You know what I'm saying? That's my dog right there. Um, he, 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 he would have torn Mikey Garcia's ass up. You understand me? Um, but bro, I, I, like I said, I don't mean to keep repeating myself, but I, this is something I've literally been telling y'all for years, not only on this channel, but on my old channel that got shut down. I was, I, I used to, matter of fact, I only made one or two videos about Mikey on this new channel. I had 20 of them back when he was ducking all these dudes on my old channel. I wish I still had them, but I don't. But, bro, that just goes to show you. Now, I know I'm chubby and I'm out of shape and all blah, 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 blah. Bro, I know my boxing people. This is something. See, again, man, this is something I've been doing and watching since I was a fucking eight-year-old, people. A lot of these channels out here, um, and I'm not get, sneak this and nobody or whatever, but a lot of these channels didn't start watching boxing until they were 25 or 30. That's just the reality of it, guys. Okay? That's not me uh, attacking nobody. You know, this is something that was inbreded in me. It's in my blood, son. You understand? Fighting is in my blood, dog. I got black belts up and down my family. Kickboxing champ. Like, my fucking cousin's husband is, is, is fighting MMA right now, bro. Okay, he knows Thug Rose and, and uh, Pat Barry and all them. All right? Like, this is in my blood, people. Okay? It's in my blood. Every Like Tyson Fury told you, bro. Every man in my breed, born from his mother, can fight. At least the ones up to my age. Or to my age and, to my age and all. The little, younger ones are a little bit, you know. I was the last Sicilian. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. But uh, but they don't have to go through that, what some of me and my older cousins had to go through. You understand? So, but like, bro, this is something I've been telling y'all for years, bro. The man isn't that fucking good. He's basic, bro. It's basic. Jab, jab, straight right hand, jab, left hook. Like, it's, it's basic one-on-one -on -one shit. And his resume shows that, bro. Look who he fought for his fucking titles. They're bombs people absolute bumps okay so i'm not gonna harp on mikey garcia i already cooked his ass on the live stream but i just wanted to reiterate that point man and i'm not trying to toot my own horn or be braggadocious or cocky or nothing that but i feel dignified in what i've been telling y'all for all these years specifically back on my old channel about this dude is not what they're making him out to be with the media and these fanboy channels and, and some of the dudes you follow are pretending he is. You understand? That, and that's all I wanted to say, man. So hit the like and subscribe. Fuck Mikey Garcia. <laughs> Fuck Mikey. Hit the like and subscribe, people. God bless every single one of you. Stay safe out there. And, 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 and hope you have a blessed Sunday afternoon. Go Packers. Packers, Bears tomorrow, bitch. Let's get it on. Modern Day Warriors, Modern Day Gladiators, putting their lives in the light for a pure entertainment. Fuck you.